The Prince and Princess of Wales have joined revellers in Soho just two days ahead of King Charles' coronation. Prince William, 40, and Kate, 41, are visiting the Dog Duck Pub in Soho to hear how it's preparing for the coronation weekend from members of staff and will meet representatives from other hospitality and recreation businesses in the Soho area. The Dog Duck Pub is part of the Nicholson's Group, which owns several pubs across the UK and this year celebrates its 150th anniversary. Over the coronation weekend, the collection of pubs will be hosting a number of events to celebrate. Upon leaving the pub, the prince and princess will spend some time meeting members of the public gathered outside on Frith Street. It comes after the Waleses were spotted attending a coronation rehearsal at Westminster Abbey with their three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis. They were joined by the King, the Queen Consort and her grandsons, and the Princess Royal. Prince George and Camilla's grandsons, Gus and Louis Lopez, and Freddie Parker Bowles, have starring roles as the King and Queen Consort's Pages of Honor. William and Kate are also expected to be among the royals to attend a glittering Buckingham Palace reception with members of foreign royal families on Friday evening. At the Dog Duck, which is one of the pubs owned by the Nicholson Group, Kate and William also marked its 150th anniversary. The pub, built in 1734 on the site of the Duke of Monmouth's home, is drenched in history not just for its longevity. Over the decades, it has given hospitality to several famous patrons including Old Etonian and author George Orwell. The writer reportedly headed to the pub to drink a celebratory glass of absinthe after his satirical novel Animal Farm was chosen for the U.S. Book of the Month Club. Among other famous clients of the pub were also artists John Constable and Dante Gabriel Rossetti. Years before today's royal visit, the Dog Duck had already attracted headlines in the early 2000s, after pop diva Madonna revealed on Jonathan Ross' BBC talk show she had become a regular client and had grown fond of the Timothy Taylor's Landlord Ale on sale at the time. Speaking in the 2000, the same year she married British director Guy Ritchie, Madonna said, I have learned to love ale. Timothy Taylor's is the best real ale. We go to the dog and duck, and with my flat cap drawn over my face I order a pint and a half of Timothy Taylor's.